Good morning, good morning, good morning. I got up really early today. And um, yeah, let's start with page two. And um, last thing we did was second last page. And now we go to page two. So page one is done. Now we go to page two. All right. So first of all, I'm going to make a extra flippable page for creating a nice photo mat. So first of all, I'm going to cut this the right size. Oh, a hinge. Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Let's make a score line. Fold it over. Go. And then, of course, we just cut this at the right spot. Okay. Okay. End of this page. Well, it's always nice to keep one millimeter shorter. So that's, that's perfect. Okay. Now, we can work first on the top of this page. So this is flippable afterwards, so I'm going to move my page for just a moment because I want to make a few pockets on here before I attach this on the album. So my leftover piece right here, I'm going to use and let's say, I think we need another one. Just to make sure uh, what do we want. I do like two pockets actually. And this is one big one. Mm -hmm. Okay, what shall we do? Well, let me first make one hinge on this side. I'm still on my left side trying out the We Are Memory Keepers. So all my cutting and my scoring I do on my left piece, just real quick. Though we are memory keepers, two and one tool. Okay, so that is what I'm testing out. Not sponsored. <laughs> Can't say that enough. Alright, alright, so let's put this on the side right here and make a mark on the left. Make a mark. Uh, a score line at that mark. Fold it over. All right. So yeah, shall we make just one big pocket? That is possible. Or we can add another piece. Let's just grab. A smaller piece right here. And then we can we can make three pockets. Shall we do that? Oh, it can be it can be done. It can be done, alright. First things first. Making a score line and then see what happens. Score line, mark, and another. Another fold line. This we can cut down, fold it over. Here we go. Oh, this should be the other way. There we go. So if now I like three pockets, 
then I need to cut this down too, of course. Well, then just do that. Make these three all the same. Okay. Line this up. Being straight. And that's the beauty of having lines on your cutting piece. Perfect. Okay. Let's check it out. These two are the same, and this one is just a little smaller. But I don't mind. I don't want to use a full new black sheet if you have leftover. So it's no worries how big this is. Just use what you have. Okay. For those who would like to know. This is two one four. If it's two, it's perfectly fine too. All right, so I'm just gonna start at the bottom, and then I'm gonna work my way up. Yep, looks fine with me. Okay, open my bottle, and let's just start at the bottom one. And the bottom one, you don't have to, you don't want to forget the bottom, of course. Otherwise, it's not a pocket. <laughs> okay, put this in here. On here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, that's pocket number one. Next one. I'm just going to add this on top. Not on top, but on top the pocket, no. And I'm just gonna glue down the flaps, not the pocket, not, ah, oh, not the bottom. <laughs> I'm just gonna place this on our page and I'm gonna leave one millimeter open from the bottom pocket. So actually we are making a belly band. See, just leaving it a little open. Yeah. Okay, next one, same thing. I'm just going to glue down the flaps. And there is an option. And now what I do is making from small to a big pocket. But perhaps you like um creating three small pockets, undeep pockets. Then what you can do is glue down each pocket. Then, then <laughs> you create a small pocket on the bottom, glue down this, and then you have again a small pocket. And if you glue down this, of course, we have again a small pocket. That's an option. I like a small pocket, a bit deeper pocket, and all the way pocket. Just an option. It's just an option. Okay. So let's decorate this. I'm going to do that together. Let's do that together. Okay. <laughs> so. Let's just grab some design paper and I definitely like this piece for the bottom. And some purple in the middle. And then This piece I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. Alright, first things first, I am gonna use this piece right here. So let me cut the right position, make some marks, and cut it. Let's 
save all your save all your little bits. Now before I go on to glue this down, I like to use I think no not for this one. Mm. No, I don't think for this one. Do I? Oh, it could be fun. Wait just a second. I like to use a bit of this rope. Just having a little, what do you think? Is this nice? Or is that... Still can add a little, little thing under. That is what I like. <laughs> Let's go wild. I'm just gonna wrap this playful around. Alright, cut it. And of course you can, if you like, put a little bow on here. struggle with this looks cool. I'm gonna move this. And one piece I will oh, I can peel it off. Let me peel it off. Here we go. And I glue it on. Everything is noise attached to your paper. Okay, take your time for this. Let the glue do its job and the tape.
The next step, let me see. Um, I want an odd purple one, I think this one. All right, now, if you are looking on this paper, you see on the back that you have already two patchwork pieces, and I love to use it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the top piece. Let me first cut this off. Because I want to use the bottom pieces. And, mm, 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 mm. Wait just a second, it has to be going in here a bit, so it's actually no use to use this because it's going in. Well, I'm just gonna use it. Okay, well, let me first cut the whiteness. Okay, now the meaning is that we go in this pocket and then, and then moving up. Yeah, I still like it. The edges. Now be aware. Be aware of what I'm doing. Because we don't want this piece of paper, what is going in, that that is be gluing down. We don't want that. Alright, so pay attention. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna, I'm not all the way down, I'm leaving it a half inch open. I'm gonna glue down. Not all the way down to the bottom. And I am gonna glue down right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna push this in the pocket. Watch where my edge is and move it up to the place where I want it to be. <laughs> okay, here we are back again. Totally forgot to empty the memory card last night. All right. Now, I already cut my pieces and I'm gonna glue these down together with you. I am not leaving you guys, I'm still here. So what I'm gonna do again, open my bottle. <laughs> okay. Put some glue on, three sides but not all the way down then put some glue on the bottom of your pocket then shove this in the pocket and then we go up to the place that we want it here we go so now we have a big pocket on the back all the way down a less deep pocket and a small pocket and it's going to be as flat as possible yeah 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 oh this top is also nice nope not gonna change your mind no 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 <laughs> okay I'm gonna put this on the top here we go and then this top page is done. Yeah, cool. Okay, now um, I can, before I go to the album, I want to create a nice um, back for here. So what I did in the meantime while my <laughs> uh, card was emptying on the PC, I thought, why not already cut four pieces that fits on here. And what I did was I put some uh, the ribbons on top. So if you add an 
added a photo on here, you still can shove this below. So it's a nice, yeah, I think it's nice. <laughs> nice decoration. But I think I like these on top. And then these at the bottom. Well, let me show, I hope I cut them at the right spot. Yes, I did. And I can add a little on the side. So first, yep, I want to use a glue that is not that quick dry. So I'm gonna start on the white side. I know I have a little left on the left, but I think I wanna add a nice little strip. I'm just gonna see how it goes. So I cut these at three by four inches. Thought that would be a nice size but it's a little less covering up my page but it's not that of a big deal because we can use a little strip on the side always can use a nice strip and you can put that on the left or on the right so that's totally up to you it is it is up to you So this is a nice photo frame. And yeah, I think the ribbon makes it nice. What do you think? I think it's nice. Alright, so um, well, let's cut just a little piece of this. Alright, measure, top, and bottom. Then cut it, cut it out on your marks, and then cut this. Oh, it's almost the right size. Okay, Let's add some glue, and then this is covered up. meant to be. You always can add a little picture here or we still have loads of nice things like this, be happy or on the side, whatever. But you always can keep that for later. Always, always, always. Alright, so now this page is done. So I'm going to glue it in my album and of course I'm going to glue this down on the left on the left so I have again a nice flippable page with no closure That's cool. All right, first pocket, second, third pocket. Always can add that later. Some photo mats, always nice. And then you flip this over, photo frame right here. And we're gonna make a nice decoration right here. Yeah, cool, like it. Let's see what kind of decoration do we want. I think I want to be, I want to make two large one right here. So that means you can use the Scrap Queen way 
or you just kind of measure this is eight so four inch let's see what kind of paper do i like i'm still using by the way i'm still using the first pack of the 20 by 20 centimeters i always like to do that first before i go to the next pack so i use this piece right here four inches I told you so I'm gonna make it three seven eight I think yeah you wanna make I'm gonna cut this three seven eight oh three seven eight Then I have a nice edge. Alright, next one. Which no purple? Yeah, this this one. This one because I still have two of these. Okay. Um well, let me cut this from the bottom. Check, let me check, 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 yep, now I have a nice edge, so I am going to cut this all the way, shall I make also a nice edge right here, that is possible, that makes it nice, so what I'm going to do, cut a nice, I want to make this the same, Equal. Again, I'm going to just use a clear glue so I can wiggle a little. Don't think it's needed, but let's just do it. Now, I think I need one little piece in the middle. That's okay. I like that. Wait just a second. This one is not completely wasn't it was not far enough for just a second put some new one, otherwise you can't wiggle. 
Put some new blue on, girl. Put some new on. Okay. Next try. Yep, that's better. I don't want to be too close to the fold line. It's going to be in the way, trust me, for that one. Alright, so I have to, I want to, and I have to search for a piece in here. Um, yep, this can do it. So what I'm going to do, make a mark here. And make a mark right there. Here we go. This is how I like it. It's nothing more actually than just a little patchwork, but yeah, love it, love it. Loads of space for photos and still put something in here. Okay, let's go to the back. Okay guys, what shall we do on this page? I think a waterfall. Ah! Yes, I like waterfalls. I just love making waterfalls. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We need, definitely need a full sheet. This one we did use. This is a nice one for underground. What do you say? Let's use this one. Oh, this is actually pretty good already. Let's check it out. Let's cut. Stay two millimeters away from that edge, please. Okay. And always keep everything. Okay, so this is the base. Let me check if I did cut it. Oh, it could be a little shorter. I don't want to be too close to this fold line. Yes, this is perfect. All right, so this will be our work. Base. Okay, it is away. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to make some um, a waterfall that is, I think, five is nice. Five by at least four. Definitely want to be four for the photos. Four one fourth. So that means five one fourth. So I need to cut my black papers four three four because I want to make a hinge. But I still want to try out this piece. Okay, what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut first my black pages at five inch. Okay, that is the size I like for this one. And then I am gonna make a score mark at my memory keepers one. 
because this one is larger than a half inch if I want to keep it straight see so you can use your centimeter scoreboard your inch scoreboard whatever hinge you want to make but now I'm going to cut at 4 1 4 okay and that is the first one I like all right yeah cool so the end of this I end with five inches and that's 12 and a half centimeters by four one fourth and that's 11 centimeters okay so I'm gonna make a few I don't know exactly how much but I'm gonna make a few of these so again five and then I'm gonna score And then at four one four. Okay. Yeah, let's make a few. Okay, be back. Okay, guys, I ended up with five. And all right, so let's see the first one. I'm gonna turn back my page. Where do I want it? I'm just gonna eyeball this, but it's definitely I want to make I make a straight cut. So first of all, I'm gonna, how far do I want this? Let's say half inch, okay? So I'm gonna make a raw line where I have to be straight. Okay, so that is one. then you just you can eyeball this or make a measurement but that is the first cut that I'm gonna make okay let's pick a knife is I made two I made two marks where I make my incision so I'm gonna grab this ruler and you can put your marks or you can make a line so the next one will be the same okay you don't have to use exactly the same ruler as I do, but you can make, you can measure and make marks so you have a straight line, exactly. Alright, so how far, so if this is the first one up here, and I want this to be end up right here. That means that we can, let's make a little mark. So, that means that we need to split, split this up. Um, okay, we have five pages, so what can we do to center this first? So I know where my, hmm, okay, nope, I think I just going to make, let's say, I'm just going to make some marks, that's one, one, two, three, 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 that's one, two, three, four, five. So if this page, yes, that's correct. So you're gonna make five same distance um, 
marks. So what I just did was, yeah, I just grabbed this ruler, but you can use this one too, any ruler you like. So I made every three-fourth, about three-fourth. Is this every three-fourth? Yeah. And in centimeters, that's every two, two centimeters. So you're gonna make the lines, and then you can just make the lines. Oh, here it is. Okay. And the next one. It's hard to see. I know. Be as straight as possible. Every three fourth, I make a line. Okay, is that straight? I think it's straight. Oh, first one. Mm, I don't know. Wait just a second. The first one is that straight or what? See, it's not straight. My eyes are not fooling myself. Now it's straight. Yes. Okay. Check it out. Check, check, check. This is straight. This is straight. Yeah. I think now I have done it. Alright, so let's make some incisions. This one right here, cut. And then the next one. And the next one. And the last one. Here we go. Okay, guys. Now, what I like to do is I like to cut a bit off. I'm going to do that with all the waterfall pieces. Last one. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. Now, here we go. You still can check if you are still good. Let's start with the first one. Put it in are you straight is it straight i think it's straight i hope it's straight okay let's flip it over and glue this down it's open forget to close that. I know. Alright. Oops. Don't move. Ah, I moved. No problems. Alright. That's step one. Put the next one. Nice. 
So it's very important that you cut straight. So making the lines is very important. Okay, the next one. straight you can wiggle just wiggle to the right spot okay last one Now what I like to do, because these incisions, I don't want to keep them open. See, we still have this not closed. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to use some tape to shut that down. So, um, when this is done, we definitely want a closure for this. So, what kind of ribbon? I think we're going to use some ribbon. Which one do we want? A brown one? Or a purple one? Hmm. Options. Lots of options. Or just this little string right here. Okay, I'm gonna go for the string. It gives less bulk. Yeah, why not? Alright, that means that I'm gonna attach this just before I'm gonna add it in the album. So first, what shall we do first? Shall we first add some papers on here? What do you say? What do you like? What do you like to do? Okay, let me first cut the first one and then see. I think I'm just gonna work. There we 
go. Nice. And then the back, I just won't do anything on the back, only at the front. Yes, I'm gonna decorate these at the front. You can use leftover pieces. That's totally fine. If you want to do that, that's nice. Always can use what you have. You can use corners or anything you want. Okay. This will be nice for a nice little tuck spot. Why not? Let's just make a nice tuck spot. So this one I only going to glue down on three pieces. Oh wait. I glued it upside down. Now should I say something? It's really hard to see, so I'm just going to <laughs> go further with this. Okay. And now for the back, you only have to need a piece. Yep, and just leave a bit open. Oh. This one, and then I'm going to use a little, a little piece up there. Okay, so this one, I'm just gonna. Place this down with a little black edge, just a little. And then I'm just gonna add a little piece on top. You always have something that you can use. So let's use it. Yep, this way is way better. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a little tuck spot. It's cool. Yeah, and a photo mat on the back. Alright, next. <laughs> okay guys, I think I'm done. So I did the last few by myself, right, little pocket, a complete 
sheet. This is just a leftover piece, but I glued down um, this little piece be happy. So you still can add a little picture behind or below. I just like it. And, and then for the bottom, I made a tuck spot again. And of course, five full photos on the back and on the bottom right here, if you like. Okay, so now it's time to put it on the album and to add that string. You can choose if you want to use um, another piece, another <laughs> ribbon, another ribbon, that's the thing that I like to say, or you're going to use the same as I do. It's your choice. Okay guys, I'm just going to fold this in half. It's the last piece that I have. Put this in the middle. There we go. All right, and the rest I will glue down. When I have glued it down in this page. Okay, put some glue on. Top in between. Use these. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Simple, quiet, very quiet. Just how I like it. And this comes back. Alright. Yay. And one flippable page. Love it. Okay, so far so good. Flippable page. Flip, flip, flip. It keeps flipping. Yeah. I like it and same why same as here it flips and flips and flips flippity flop flip flop 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 all right now we have two pages left and in here that's the biggest um opening so we still can add lots of things in here flippity flops flippity pages lots still let's see how far are we? Oh, it's not that bad. It's not too thick. We have still loads of place. Yes. Okay, guys. Update paper. One full sheet, 8x8. Eight eight. One full sheet, 6x6. Six six. These are my leftover pieces that I have. And then I have one full pack, which I'm going to open right now. And then we go to the last two pages. So yeah, we still have plenty and not used any white cardstock for making, for spreading it out, these papers. So yeah, I'm very happy. And perhaps at the end, we can make nice photo mats with white um, 
with white photo uh, mats on that. that. I always like that, but I especially do not want to spread these papers out. I only want to use the papers. Not any colored cardstock, white, brown, any. I just want to try it out. Oh, and it's a long time ago that I did that without any white cardstock or any other. Normally we stretch the papers out to do that, but this time we won't because we had enough. We had two packs, eight by eight, and one set six by six. That's more than enough. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the last two pages. Who is still with me? Ah, okay. I'm glad my son is all already awake, so he can't fool us again. 